hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will learn how to create a simulation where we have a current carrying coil and we have a metallic plate and we will study the induction current that is developed from the current carrying coils so we know that a time varying current induces a time varying magnetic field the magnetic field induces current in neighboring conductor the conductor the induced current are called eddy currents so what we learn in this model is that the uh, phenomena will be illustrated by time harmonic field simulation as well as transient analysis where the eddy current resulting from the source being switched are studied so at first we'll create a blank model so we'll go on and click on the blank model and we have a window something like this so now we'll go on to add component and click on 2d axis symmetric so why we are using this component because we are working on a system that is symmetric across r equal to zero so we'll create a 2d geometry and we'll use the symmetry to virtually calculate uh, the three-dimensional domain okay so at first we'll create a square so we'll go to geometry click on square and the side length we'll select 0 0.1 and click on build select now we'll change the z-axis that is we will shift a little bit on the downside so we will write 0 0.05 and click on build all object so now we have the square where the position of the corner is r0 and z0.05 so it starts from here and then we have the square now the next part we will add a rectangle so click on the rectangle and since we are trying to follow the tutorial model so we will use the dimension that is consistent so that you can understand so i will select 0 0.08 and height 0 0.02 and the corner will set but before that let me see the shape so we'll just try to shift a little bit on the downside along the z so we will write minus 0 0.021 and click on build all object now i'll click on sketch and we have this domain so this is the air and this is the metallic plate now we will create the coils so we will select circle and we will name this coil one so before that we'll go on to parameter we will create few parameters so at first we will create the wire radius and we will set it 2.5 mm and then we will create another parameter that is the value of the radial direction on which the wire will be placed and this will be 0.0125 meter similarly we will again create the second wire and the radial direct, uh, distance will be 0 0.0185 meter okay so i'll just copy this radius and in the coil radius i'll just paste click on build selected you'll see we have the circle here now what we are interested is we'll shift the coil along r so we'll paste it here click on build selected and we have the coil now we will shift the wire along z direction so i'll just click on copy radius and i will paste just to make sure that the wire is just above the metal plate now if i click build selected you can see that the wire is above the plate and there's a finite small gap between the two 
now i'll just duplicate this and i'll rename this to coil 2 the radius will be shame and this is our underscore wire underscore 2 so the radial direction here i'll just write 2 here now if i click on build selected i have the two wires and the plate and air okay so our geometry is almost ready so let us create few selections so this is the air and we'll select this we'll again create coils we'll select these two and another plate so we have this three selections so now our geometry is almost done the next part will be to add the materials so we'll go on to add materials if you don't find this window you go on to material click on add material and you should have this so we'll type air and click on search after some time it might take few seconds we have this so in the built-in air just click on add to component one similarly again go to material type copper and click on search you have a ton of options so i'll just close all this and in the built-in there will be a copper click on add to component one and we have the air and copper so for air just select the air domain and for copper select all domain and just deselect the air so now we have the air and copper as the two material of the model the next part is to add physics in the model so we'll go on to add physics we'll go on to acdc since we are interested in the magnetic fields so we'll open up electromagnetic fields and in the magnetic field right click and click on add to component one it might take few seconds to add the physics and the physics is added now in the magnetic field we'll right click and we'll add a coil in the model so the material type will be non-solid this is just for uh, reference model depending on the type of material you are using you can select from material and so on now here in the coil excitation we are interested in voltage and we will select 0.1 millivolt as the coil excitation okay and we won't change any of the settings here things are fine but in the selection we'll just select coils we have the coil selected now after this we'll right click and click on force calculation and we'll select the plate so this is plate uh, this is just the name of the force so our physics is pretty much done there is not much to change we have set up the coil and set up the force calculations now we'll go on to mesh click on build all to build the mesh of the model now the next part is to add study so we'll go on to study so we'll have two study one is the frequency domain and one is time dependent so for now i'll click on frequency domain and click on add study now here we have to set the different frequencies that we are going to study so we'll start from 10 hertz then 100 I'll just copy this so this is 200 and this is 300 so we have this uh, different frequencies and we can click on compute to get the result so I'll just click on compute to just uh, see if the model is correct and it is running so it seems like the simulation is done 
I'll just uh, do not check the result right now. I uh, will just add one more study that is a time dependent study and click add study. So in the time dependent study, we are interested to check the time evolution of the force calculation. So if your study demand to check any parameter that is dependent on time, then you can use this study. So we will write 0, comma, 10 to the power, open close bracket, range, open close brackets, and we will write minus 4, comma, 1 by 10, comma, minus 1. So basically this is 10 to the power minus 4 to 10 to the power minus 1 in the interval of 1 by 10. So this is the time step. It is kind of a logarithmic scale, just like a log scale. So I'll just click on compute to see if the model is running. And we also now have the time dependent study. So I'll just close these two studies, the materials, physics, and all this. So we now have only the result section first of all let us see the default plot the default plot this is the magnetic flux plot magnetic flux density norm of the three-dimensional uh, symmetry plot and we have this plot as well from the time step and we have the revolved 3d uh, system as well also with time we can check the different uh, plots so what we can do in the revolution data set we can make a selection of the plate so i'll just select the domain select the domain here and now if i go back we can see that we just have the plate and we can visually uh, see the magnetic flux density norm values so now let us check the force calculation that is uh, we will create a 1d plot group and we'll have a global variable so we are interested in study 2 so in the global plot in the expression click on add expression click on magnetic field mechanical electromagnetic force and electromagnetic force uh, z component so select this uh, i'll just remove this so now if i click on plot so i have a graph showing the force field but due to the direction it's coming negative so i'll just write abs the absolute value of force inside the bracket and click on plot now you can see that there's a sudden spike in the force and then it dies down with time so this is what we would expect when we have a harmonic study even in practical understanding that with time there's a sudden spike and then it dies down so from all this uh, calculation you can calculate the force the induced ad current the magnetic field and the different mathematical analysis from this uh, results so i hope that you learned something from this video if you learned something uh, then please do support give a like and subscribe to this channel and if you want to learn the complete simulation workflow you can check out my courses in the link uh, that you will get in the video description thank you for watching and have a nice day ahead